Good morning, Pope Francis. Please stand for prayer and pledge to the flag. I now invite up Father John for prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our gospel reflection today comes from St. Matthew. Then Jesus came with them to a place called Gethsemane, and he said to his disciples, Sit here while I go over there and pray. He took along Peter and the two sons of Zebedee and began to, to feel sorrow and distress. Then he said to them, My soul is sorrowful, even to death. Remain here and keep watch with me. He advanced a little and fell prostrate in prayer, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, yet not as I will, as you will. Come now to the agony in the garden. Earlier in the gospel, Jesus had bravely said to James and John, Can you drink the cup that I'm going to drink? He was referring to the cup as a symbol of suffering. Later at supper, he took a cup and said that this was his own blood to be shed for the forgiveness of sins. Now, when the moment draws near for him to drink the cup, he asked the Father that he be spared from doing it, but adds, not as I will, but as you will. Let's bring the same attitude to our own sufferings, not looking for suffering, but if we have crosses to bridge the suffering, the, the bridge of suffering, to get where we need to go, then accept it. Or, if it simply comes upon me, and I have really no choice, accept it. Not with bitterness, but with a willing heart. Place yourselves in the good hands of the Lord and join with him in the Gethsemane prayer. What is the biggest cup of suffering that you face right now in your life? Place yourself in the Garden of Gethsemane with the Lord and talk to him about it. Let us ask for that courage today to bear our sufferings with Jesus and to ask him for the grace to willingly accept with a fervent heart. Have a wonderful day. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Father John. Please face the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated for announcements. I'm Grace Gustafson, and this is your Pope Prep News and Announcements. Today is Monday, Mar today is Tuesday, rather, March 7th, and it is National Cereal Day. March 7th urges us to get our bowl and spoon ready for National Cereal Day each year. Since the end of the 19th century, cereal has become America's most popular breakfast food. The Social Justice Club will be meeting in the Learning Commons after school today. The meeting will start at 2.15. The club will discuss their current projects and plans for this month. In the spirit of social justice, all students are welcome. Anyone interested in applying for a position on the Ronald McDonald House Teen Board, please pick up an application in guidance or from Mrs. Peralt. Deadline for the application is May 12th. There will be a meditation club meeting today immediately after school in room 27. We will be doing a renewal meditation and scheduling our first off-site meditation. All are welcome. Do you want a fun way to earn service hours and support the Ronald McDonald House? On March 19th, you can march in the Holyoke St. Patrick's Day Parade and carry a sign. When you sign up using this QR code, the parade will donate $20 to a charity of your choice. Please type in the Ronald McDonald House of Springfield at 34 Chapman Terrace, um, Springfield, 0107. All of the information about where and when to be at the parade is on the link. If you have any questions, please see Emma Corridan. The deadline to sign up is this Friday, March 10th. Thank you. The key club members uh, are asked to sign up uh, for the St. Patrick's Day Parade in the guidance office. The chess club will meet this afternoon right after school in room 205. All are welcome. Purchase your yearbook by ordering it online. You can find our ordering website by scanning the QR code on the posters throughout the school. Please remember that Snapchats don't last forever, but yearbooks do. Miss out, don't miss out on this year's memories. Um, please remind your parents to make the purchase. The Cardinal Coders will meet this week on Tuesday immediately after school until 3.15. Please email or see Ms. Slowe if you cannot attend. Are you interested in gardening, outdoor fun, improving the environment, and learning about plants, fruits, and vegetables? Uh, come join the Gardening Club. Wednesday, March 8th at 2.10 in the Innovation Lab, uh, room 306, as we start our tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers. Everyone is welcome to come and enjoy. We will start our seeds and discuss 
plans for our school's garden and our new greenhouse. We now have a video for our Souls to Souls. Imagine waking up and getting ready for the day, and instead of having the option to pick which pair of shoes to wear, you had only one pair that was too small or full of holes. Or maybe you didn't have a pair of shoes at all. It may be hard to believe, but that's the reality for the 1.5 million kids in the U.S. experiencing homelessness. They don't get the choice they deserve. That's why we're working to provide brand new athletic shoes to each of these kids every year. Because giving kids choice means giving them confidence. Kids who receive new shoes are more confident, attend school more regularly, and are more physically active. But it's more than that. New shoes mean opportunity. It means they get to attend that after school program they've been looking forward to. They fit in with the other kids and they don't have to feel insecure about the shoes on their feet. They even have the choice to try out for the team because they actually have shoes that fit their feet. But most of all, it means they have the freedom to just be a kid in the classroom and on the playground. Join Souls for Souls in being for every kid. When you give, you help put shoes on the feet of a person with potential and joy in the heart of a kid who needs it. Please participate in our new or newly used shoe collection as we support Souls for Souls this Lenten season. Check your closets and bring those shoes and put them in the boxes that can be found in the front lobby. Our news from the sports desk, there will be a boys lacrosse meeting after school at 2.15 in the gym today. There will be a boys tennis meeting in room 223 today after school. There will be a meeting for all girls planning to play lacrosse right after school on Wednesday in the gym lobby. The meeting will only take about 10 minutes. Today's schedule is D, A, B, C with B period lunch. And that's all, Pope Francis. Stay classy.